Welcome to the stream, everyone. Don't expect much tonight. There's too much wind. Get crabbing. All right, what you've got to do is look at that beautiful sunset. At least if we don't catch any crabs, we'll do a sunset. All right. So normally on these sand flats is where you want to get the crabs. All right. So what you do is you always have your scoop in front of you because they can be quite quick little buggers, right? Admittedly, they are better at night because they'll come in closer at night, but sometimes you'll get them during the day, right? Very little visibility like this. Um, it's always worst walking into the wind, right? Walking into the wind's terrible. But if you uh, turn around and go the other way like this, All right, let's have a look, fam. Right. Oh, and that wind's picking up. Well, if it's windy like this, it's actually not too bad for them either. You know, they sometimes come in, but we'll have a look. Look at that beautiful sunset. Look at it. So what you do when you're crabbing, right? This is a crab scoop, as we call it in Western Australia. This is the aluminium model. So this is one that will last you from season to season. Normally people buy a new wooden handled scoop every year. What happens with that, they usually drop out after your season, all right? So whenever you're crabbing, you always have your scoop in front of you, right? Because with crabs, they scare very easily because obviously they've been predated upon for thousands of years so it's in their DNA and then what you do is as soon as you see one of the little buggers you've got to remember crabs walk sideways so either pick left or right but the good thing about them okay is that you can also guide them with a torch so for example if there's a crab here and I want it to go that way I'll shine my torch to its left hand side on my right hand side and if there's a crab here and I want it to go that way right I'll shine it here with a torch and it'll move that way but right so if this wind can just die off the not oh hang on hang on what's that in there hello bud now is that a crab the other thing is too not only would you find crabs You'll find stingrays, shovel nose rays, everything. Right, so, like I said to you, right, always walk with your crab scoop in front of you. Never ever have it behind you. Okay, now. When you walk in the water, you don't walk like you're walking on land. What you do is you put your left foot first, right, and then you bring your right foot next to your left foot. Then you bring your left foot out, or your right foot to your next to your left foot, or right foot first, whichever one. So, yeah. Oh man, I cannot see anything. And usually what you do, right, is when you're searching for crabs, you just work out a grid pattern, right? So, at night, it's not a good idea to go out too deep, because you might end up being shark potter. But that's all right. What we make in common sense, we make up for in crabs. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Just want a couple, that's all I want. I can assure you that across the world, everything from sharks to crustaceans, the biomass across the board is down for a few reasons. The two main ones being commercial fishing and then obviously the fact that no one sticks to bad units. Here we got one, here we go. That's a big one too. That's a big one. Come on, bud. Come on, come on. Hey! Woohoo! First one. There we go. See? I spy with my eagle eye. Oh, sugar. Did I drop the measure? You idiot. <laughs> I got all the way out of here. I dropped it. Uh, it all doesn't help, mate. Rightio, let's suss this out, eh? So with these, right, what you got to do is the male blue mana crabs are blue, the females are brown. Right, this one's been fighting, as the name suggests. Okay, there he is. Right, and I'm pretty sure that might be close. So this is what we're going to do, right? Actually, no. 
I'm 250 between the thumb and the forefinger. What's that? Uh, probably a little bit short. All right, so say goodbye to Barry the Blue Manor. Yeah, what are you looking at? Oh, have you son? Yeah. See you, bud. Don't head towards me. Right, just give me a second. I've got to go back and get the crab gauge. Right, so we know where they are now. Good. Where I started dragging them from. I should be okay. Right. Where do I start dragging it? Put that down there. Oh, there we are, it's in here. Started to get bumpy through here. And don't worry, people, I'm not going to put up a dono goal for a new crab scoop. Oh, and that's where I dragged it through here. A little bit of twitch humor there. Put it inside. I might have put it inside as well. Don't know. I can't remember. Getting old, people. My memory's going. Right down in here. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Down through here. Down through here. Down through here. Here it is. Da da da. See, that's called logic and thinking, which is basically a way of saying you stuffed up the first time, but you redeem yourself. All right, if this, if I can get 15 minutes of this wind to drop down, right, even if it's just 10 minutes, we should be able to get a couple, and then we can go. You know. Okay, so like I said, you always have the scoop in front of your fan. You don't have to go out too far. Obviously, if a shark comes up with a fin, Moses is going to have nothing on me. Crabs are one of the few things that even though they have a high attrition rate, they do also have a very high um, you know, uh, population rate too. So a lot of them will spawn to one get cleaned up, you know. Right, so we've seen one crab. Woo! Gas. Nice. Now, yeah. so what we're doing right is like I said, we're just walking along. So what will happen is at night with the blue mountain crabs they'll head to the edges of the waterways, right, and um, you know, that's why they come in at night fairly close to the shore, and that way we can go in and get them, you know what I mean? So um, normally there's the odd big one out here. Okay, so like I said, when you see on here, see how we've got this... Um, darker bottom on here what that is that's actually just the dirt that's underneath the top layer of sand so if i dug down far enough what would happen is that it start coming up as well so that's what they'll do they'll dig down into the sub mess of the um sand in the inlet and then what they'll do is um oh there we go all right bud steady steady now when you see one right don't try and move too quickly Oh, I can't even see anything because of the wind. But hopefully experience will pave the way. All right, now this is a female blue manor, right? Not the male. Oh, right, where is the male? Let's go. Come on, mate. Where is the male? Oops. Come on, mate. This is not a very good one. Get into the skirt. Come on. Get into the skirt. There you go. There we go. No, this is a female. So what we have here, people, is this is a female blue manor, okay? They're a brown mottled colour. And underneath on their abdomen, they have a wider and blunter 
uh, protrusion. That's where the eggs are under here. And if I can get this one to let go, I'll show you. Come on, mate. Okay. Well, tell you what, good luck to you because you're a bit difficult to get on with. Right. I just don't want to force the issue with this. You're going to have to let go because you need water to survive. There we are. All right, so this is the female blue manna there, see? See how it has the brown mottled colour? Now, underneath, if you have a male blue manna, see where that um, little flap is on the abdomen? It's a lot pointier. This is wider, okay? So with that, where here, that's where the eggs are, if this doesn't nip me. Right, but we're going to put this one back. See where it's been um, damaged on top? That's because it's been fighting with other crabs and I think the odd stingray tried to get it. So stingrays love it. What they'll do is they'll just hover over the top of the crabs, right? And they'll form a complete suction around it. And then what they'll do is um, they'll just turn it upside down and eat the guts out of it and everything. They just leave it open in the place. All right, so we've got one male blue manna and one female blue manna. Look at that beautiful sunset. Check that out. Look at that. Is that not spectacular or is that not spectacular? It would probably be more spectacular without the crab scoop in the way, but you can't have everything, people. Right, now, let's have a look. All right, the wind's dying off, so we should be okay now. Any, okay. So I spy with my little eye. Right. Now, and this is what it's about. You don't, in our ethos with streaming, right, you don't need to see the streamer, okay? And trust me, <laughs> you don't need to look at me for too long, right? So what we try and do is just immerse our community in what we're doing with the environment and how we're going about things, you know? So, I can just get one blue mana. So now, okay, this is a bit better, people. So what we've got now, right, is we've got the situation okay where the um the wind is starting to die off so now things have started to calm down right and i'm able to see a little bit more clearly right so let me have a look yep so this is what happens when they're in spawning mode see how they fight Right, they'll lose claws, they'll lose back legs, they'll lose everything because they're fighting over territory and they're fighting over females. So, you know, a bit like Friday night at the pub for some people. There's one, there it is, now we're talking. That's that one that I scared earlier. That's actually, this is a legal size. Now what I'll do, see this in here, right? That's the blue manor in there, okay? Now which way are you going to go, left or right side? If I go to its left, right, come on, there you go. <laughs> this one can dance. Come on, bud. There we go. Come on, bud. All right, a bit of persistence pays off, doesn't it? There we go. This one is a legal size blue manna, I think. Let's have a look. Nice thick claws. Yep. 129 mil people. So, the person that I'm catching these for is going to be very happy with that. There we go. Come on, bud. Don't you dare let go. So there he is, okay? So what you do is... Yep, about 129 mil that sneaks in. Come on, buddy. Hey, come on. No, 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 you're coming home. <laughs> now, remember when I said to you I saw a big one before? So, what happened with that is it's just simple um, common sense, really. So, what we did is we sort of headed out about mid water, about 40 feet, right? When we walked up here from right to left, anything on this side shot off to the shore which is what this one did so that's a mistake the ones that go out deep you can't do much about that 
Right, come on, mate. Uh, if they're too small, they usually fall through the um, scoop, which is good. Come on, bud. Right. Come on, mate. Well, there we go. All right, beautiful blue mana crab. Check that out, people. A little bit of work for it. How it snuck in. Right, so... It just snuck in, people. Right, so there we go. Literally by a couple of mil there, see? See how there's the overlap? So that's about 130 mil between the um, 130 mil between the horns. So that's a legal size blue manor. So that's going to go back with us. So come on, bud. You're going to make a very tasty meal for someone, mate. And it's not going to be me. If I only eat manor. I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to that. Alright, so let me just go down through here. Oh. Right. Great. Let's just bring this up to the shore. Right. I'm going to turn this off because we've got one. Right. I'm just going to turn this off because we've got one. Right. Just going to get some fresh water in there. And wash that out. Since last year, and then if we can get one more, right, one more, it's happy days. There you go, buddy. So, good sized blue manna in there. Oh, yeah, they stay there, buddy. Let's get another one. Oh, 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 there's another garfish there. See how it's heading into the light straight to me. There it is, right in front of us. A little bit confused. George the garfish wasn't like the other garfish. Had a few issues, mate. Right. Now, I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with C. Hello, bud. This is another female crab. I thought I'd just catch this, people, just to show you. So as you can see, with the female crabs, they're a much um, duller colour. They're usually brown. See how they have the wider flap on the bottom of them there? That is where the eggs go. Um, with the male crabs, it's like a thinner triangle. It's not as wide as that. All right, I wonder if we can... Um, hang on. I wonder if we can... Um, Get this. So what happens is, the eggs, right, no, 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 don't do that, the eggs, they usually have the eggs under here, but she's not in row at the moment, okay? So that's a female crab, see how it's just a dull brown? Ironically, it's the same colour, roughly, as the bottom, see? So when she heads down there, and she buries in the sand, you won't see her. When you walk along the edge, you've got to remember too, the water on the edge here is a lot colder than the water out here. So when you walk out here, right, you sort of walk out till you get to the warmer water, and that's when you know. So, what'll happen is, the cold water comes out here about eight feet. So what you do, go about another, I don't know, go another, I guess, about another 10 feet. So you got 10 feet that side, and 10 feet this side. And then what you do is you just pan across from right to left. And then what it is, when they hit the cold water, they come back out to the warm water anyway. You've got to remember, with crabs, right, they have an exoskeleton. They cannot regulate their own body temperature. They are very susceptible to water temperatures and trends, okay? So if they get too cold, they shut down, right? And, you know, usually when it warms up, that's when they fire up, but anyway... All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with this absolutely beautiful West Aussie sunset through there without the, um, uh, without the, uh... you're welcome, Loie. Check that out, people. Look at that beautiful sunset. All right. Thank you very much for allowing me the privilege of live streaming for you. You're wonderful. I really appreciate the fact that you've given up your time and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.